Hello, and welcome back to another full day of eating only fast food. Today is Zaxby's. And this is just to show that it's not eating fast food that gets you overweight. It is the choices you make. So I'm just showing you how you can eat fast food and still maintain a lean physique. This is actually one of the places I go to quite often when I'm out of town. But um, my daily maintenance calorie is about 2,700 right now. So the goal is to stay within that amount, try to stay full throughout the day as much as possible with the choices we make and hit a certain protein amount. My goal is about 180 because of my body weight, 185. So around 180 to 190 grams of protein is what I wanna hit. So we're gonna go through the things I eat just to help you and see what are good choices at different places you go based on your own needs and that type of stuff. Zaxby's, lots of chicken, really good, so lots of protein options there. One thing I really like. So, first meal of today, it's 11 o'clock, a little after 11, because they don't open, it's not a breakfast type of place. So, first up we have a five finger chicken finger plate. And you might be wondering, well, how do you know how many calories in the stuff you're getting? Well, that's where I suggest you get the app for these different places. So, let's take a look at Zaxby's right here. And these meals, chicken finger plate, I got the five, but if you look up here, it says at the bottom, there's a range between 1,240 to 2,000 calories. And that is because it depends on how many wings you get, which kind of, if it's the buffalo fingers, the regular, if you get fries, slaw, what kind of drink you get. So really this app isn't that great for this restaurant. Some other restaurants are a lot better, but if you go to their website and you scroll down you see this section where it says 2,000 calories a day, blah, blah, blah. Click here for additional nutritional information. You click on that, and that shows you everything on their menu. There's some kids. So everything I'm gonna be telling you is based off this nutritional fact sheet. And here we see the chicken finger plate is 1,290 calories. Now, that is with no sauces, so what you gotta consider here is 150 calories of that is this toast. I don't even really like this, it's not that good. That's not worth it to me, so. Does anybody want some toast? Me too. So if you have kids, give them the stuff you don't want. And then the coleslaw is 140 calories. You can have a fry. I toast. And look, there goes more of my calories. Okay, no, for real, this is my food. Okay. That's enough. The coleslaw is 140 calories, so I took both those out. No toast, no slaw, I don't like those. So now that's about 290 calories down, but I got extra fries instead of the coleslaw. So that adds in an extra 330 calories. So everything I have here, I don't use the sauce because I like the way stuff tastes on its own. So this whole thing, 1,330 calories and 60 grams of protein. So that's a lot of protein starting out the day. I'm hungry, so we're gonna get started. I have a Coke Zero here, zero calories. They didn't give me a straw, so here we go. That is it, 1,300 calories down, or maybe even less with all those kids and Jill eating my fries. And you might be thinking, I thought this was about getting low calorie options at places. Normally I've already eaten breakfast, and I'd be eating my lunch about now, so really this is about the calorie amount I would be at anyways for the day. So you gotta be adaptable, depending on what you're doing, since I haven't eaten yet today. So I wanted to eat a little extra beforehand, especially when I eat a lot of fries like that. It really fills me up for a long time, so we'll see if that stays true today when I haven't eaten a lot before it, but um, I will be going over on the next meal a lower calorie option, which is usually my go-to when I go eat there when I'm out of town. But before we do that, we gotta get these little kids ready to go to gym. <laughs> I didn't mean to knock you over. <laughs> you gotta get your hair out of your face, but you gotta get ready to take them to gymnastics. So we'll get that done and then eat some more food. to get the next meal now at Zaxby's. And I'm just gonna tell you what I'm having now because if you've ever tried to go into a restaurant with four kids and get food ready, it's chaos. Are y'all hungry? Five kids. Well, 
Taylor doesn't eat food yet. So what I'm getting next is what I would typically get, and that is the grilled cob salad from Zaxby's. And it is 700 calories, but that's if you include the bread again, which I toss out because I don't really like that much. So then it puts us at 550 calories and 58 grams of protein. That is a lot. And then I add on the, uh, what is it? The light, no, the light Italian's a Chick-fil-A. I think it's light raspberry vinaigrette. I'll yeah. double check on that, but it's only 35 calories per pack, which is, the big point here is, you gotta watch out for sauces, because you might get a salad and think, hey, I'm eating healthy food now, but a lot of those dressings, like Thousand Island, is 230 calories. That's almost 50% more calories added to the salad, so. I go for the low calorie dressings. They have some light uh, ranch as well that's pretty, one of the lower ones, but I like the uh, raspberry vinaigrette, so it works for me. But then the same thing with all the other sauces, like you get ketchups, almost all of the Zaxby sauces for the wings and stuff are anywhere from 100 to almost 200 calories, and those add up quick. So be aware of what you're having. I'm ready to eat, starting to get hungry. So here we go. Tables big enough for our whole family here. Hey. Oh well. Hey. She has her own special yeah. seat. So back home now, got everyone fed. Now I'm about to change and get a push workout in my gym outside, which it's getting cold out, and that's the bad thing about a garage gym in the winter extra cold, but it's warming up a bit today. So hopefully after a few warm up sets, I'll be good to go and not too chilly. So get that done, then get some more food. <laughs> Are you trying to be Rocky? Is that what Rocky does? Yeah. Wait, Rocky? What, Balboa? I think so. So is Buster Stallone? <laughs> And we're back with the last meal. So, the first thing we got here is a grilled chicken sandwich. Okay, well, I guess they gave me fries even though I ordered just the sandwich, so I guess I got the meal. So, we'll pretend the fries aren't there, but just the sandwich is 540 calories, but that is with the mayo, and I got it with no mayo, which, good, they didn't mess that part up. So this is a pretty substantial piece of chicken. Nice looking chicken sandwich. I have not had this before. I've had the other things multiple times, many times, but I haven't had this, so that'll probably be good. So I'm guessing around 510, nice sweetie, to 500 calories for this and 43 grams of protein. And I have something else in here, but I'm gonna wait to show that till I finish this so that you are interested in watching more and I'll get more watch time. But also, Drinks, that's the other thing to talk about. This is a Sprite Zero, and that's a big drink right there. And when it comes to cutting calories, getting the diet drinks is an easy way to do it and make yourself feel full. If you don't like diet drinks, drink water, that's fine, drink lots of water. But for me, it's not as big a deal now because I'm just maintaining my weight. I'm not trying to lose any, but if I was, this is a good way to keep yourself feeling full, the carbonation, have some kind of flavor and uh, it's no calories, whereas if this was a sweet tea or a regular Sprite or Coke, this is probably 250, 300 calories maybe right here. So, you know, just to show you what I'm talking about, let's come out here real quick. It's part of my normal routine because I would rather eat more food than uh, drink my calories, so we got over here, Diet Coke, that's for my mother-in-law, she doesn't like Coke Zero. I've got a Mountain Dew Weird Zero flavor that I just got, Sprite Zero, Coke Cherry, Sunkiss Zero, and that's Diet Co or Coke Zero, caffeine-free. Because I'm trying to get more caffeine-free stuff, I don't want all the extra caffeine. So that, 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 I'll have no caffeine. But that's just personal preference, I just don't want to get dependent on it. So, you know, do what you want, but I would rather eat calories and drink them. So if you don't like that stuff, water's just fine, but just showing you what I do, folks. So can I eat this? And then I'll show you what the last thing is. And we'll see what the totals are for today. It's pretty 
your chicken sandwich. Get those fries away. That's about 330 calories worth of fries. And instead of getting that, I chose to get a nibbler, which is not as much food as fries, but these are pretty good. It's a little bun, toasted bun, with a piece of chicken, same kind of have with a chicken finger plate, and then some Zaxby's sauce in it. 310 calories and 13 grams of protein. So for the whole day, that puts it at 2,725 calories and 174 grams of protein-ish. And that's another thing to keep in mind. The calorie amounts, those are ballparks, right? Someone might scoop more fries in there than another person. Someone might put more sauce on something you get than another person. These are all just estimates. Don't sit there and think, oh my goodness, I had 25 calories more than I planned today because I was gonna have 2,700. It's just, it's better to have an idea of what different things have rather than nothing. Like there's a couple sandwiches that they have that are over a thousand calories just for the sandwich, whereas you get something like that and it's only 500. So you think, oh, you know, out of these two choices, which is the better one? That's the thing to keep in mind if you go out to eat with friends or whatever and you are on a diet, you're eating fast food and you're thinking, oh no, it's gonna ruin my diet. Just cause you go to a fast food or any restaurant doesn't mean you have to get something terrible like going to Olive Garden, for example, you could get a big bowl of pasta that's 1500 calories, or I like to get salmon and vegetables and it's like 700 for the whole meal. And you get a lot of protein, some good fats from the salmon, all that kind of stuff. So just make good choices. Be aware of the calorie amounts and you'll be fine. So that's it folks. Based on calories in, calories out, if you think that's what works, which pretty much is, it's not a certain type of food that's gonna make you fat. It's eating too much of certain types of foods. So I could literally eat this every day and maintain the weight I'm at. Now, that doesn't mean it's healthy. Of course, there's healthier options. Like I would normally want to have more veggies. I could eat instead of, you know, the fries and the chicken this morning, I could have three salads and then what I had tonight. And that'd be a lot healthier. You got lots of vegetables, all that kind of stuff. And I'd probably be even more full. Like I was full fine today. I wasn't walking around feeling hungry, but those choices, if I had done that today, would have been pretty boring for you to watch me eat the same thing over and over again. So I want to put a little variety in there and you know, it was good, but I do really like their salad. So if you haven't had it, totally suggest you try them that. But um, if you like this, you know, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what restaurant you would like to see next. Cause these are always fun to do just to show you guys, hey, you can make good choices no matter where you go. Most places have pretty good choices lower calorie ones that still taste good. So we've got lots of other ones on the channel, Chick-fil-A, Pizza Hut, all that good stuff. And of course, we've got Instagram, at Camber Fitness, posting a lot there almost daily. So be sure to check that out, and I will see you in the next one. The chicken.